Good morning, Lord of Life. Pastor Adam here, and I'm going to be reading to you from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 20 through 23. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he put all things under his feet and made him the head over all things for the church, which is in his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. So I wanted to take just a minute to talk about what does it mean for Christ's feet to be put on top of everything else. Um, Feet being placed on a neck was a sign of an emperor or a king defeating an enemy. And so in this case, everything is under Jesus' feet, especially sin and death. Uh, Christ being raised from the dead is showing Christ's victory over sin in the grave, meaning that there is nothing with outside of uh, there is nothing outside of Jesus's power and control. This is great news for us because if there's nothing outside of Jesus's control, that means nothing can sw- can put us aside. Nothing can thwart our work in Jesus. As long as we are seeking after Jesus, trying to love our neighbors as ourselves, build intentional community with each other, and love our neighbors, we will be uh, on the right path. Please pray with me. God, you are in control of everything, and we give thanks for that. We give thanks that you are our king, um, and you lead us forward in your kingdom, in a place where all are welcome, all are accepted, all are blessed because of you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you. See you later.